confirm your sighting. I think... I think it's trying to communicate. You want us Earhart? first discovery of the rift, we developed a new technology, the rift sphere, making it possible to enter astral rifts to explore and unravel the mysteries of other dimensions. This is a DLC that just dropped today, well actually technically yesterday. Uh, we're going to take a look at it, see what it all has to offer, and see if we can get any of the events to activate while we talk about it. So basically, I have no mods active. No, none of my mods are active at all. Um, we'll basically see how this goes. <clears throat> so we have the Astral Planes DLC, which active, which gives us four brand new civics, eight new relics, uh, thirty-two different astral rifts to explore within branching storylines, well, with branching storylines and multiple endings. And we also have one new mystical portrait, which is this one. Uh, a new system of astral actions to manipulate space and interact with the galaxy in unexpected ways. New music tracks and one new origin, which is the Rift Roll. Uh, so we'll go look through all these and we choose them and go from there. Alright, select create new. We're gonna choose... I wanna... Looks ugly as shit. We're not gonna do that one. We're just gonna do this one. Fuck it. Um... Species name doesn't matter. Geroid. Gender. Default is female. Nameless humanoid two. I, it doesn't really matter, honestly, to me. It, it does not give it. Not mean a goddamn thing to me. Okay. Names in class. Aria trinary two. City parents. I don't think there's a different city parents because it's not a different race. Yeah, no. We're gonna go with Necroid. For the origins, we're gonna go with Rift World, and we're gonna talk about that. So the also, I've never done one of these, so we'll see how it goes. I'm probably it's gonna be shit. Oh, payback. That's a different one. Payback is new. Under one rule is new. Fear of the dark is new. Um Broken Jackals is new, and Fruitful Partnership is also new. Interesting. Anyway, so Rift World. Uh a massive rift in space and time looms near the civilization's homeworld after studying the phenomenon for millennia. Recent advances in starship technology will allow them to finally reach out and discover what secrets it might hold. The effects our homeworld is an ancient crater uh, archaeology site. Chance for an astral or rift to appear in your system is a is hundred percent. Astral rift exploration speed is increased by twenty five percent, and astral fail probability is dropped by fifty percent. That's not a bad overall thing. Ancient craters are new archaeology sites. Interesting. Interesting. Next, uh, we're just gonna go fanatic militarist and excuse sorry no fanatic materialist and basic militarist empire because I don't care. Um, and then Dark Consortium. Uh, Dark Consortium is a deep understanding of architecture of the universe allowed the society to exploit the mysterious properties of dark matter long before the discovery of the hyperdrive. So it'll give us basically dark matter drawing all, all yeah, automatically and gives access to special edicts you know, that has access to the dark matter breakthrough council agenda as well. Uh, council position is Shadow Weaver, Empire effects per skill level, uh, plus 0.02%. Well, 0.2 points, I don't know. Um, also, we have hyperspace speciality. Planet sensor range is plus two, sublight speed is plus 10%. Hyperlane bre breach points is a guaranteed research option. Uh, has low and on all systems within three hyperlanes of your starting system. That's not bad. And our research speed for physics is increased by 15%. Interesting. Anything? We have, there's two others that we're missing. I think it's Vaults of Knowledge. Uh, let me check. Dimension Worship and uh, Sovereign Guardianship. Uh, so Dimension Worship and Sovereign Guardianship. Where the fuck is that? I want to go through all of these while we kind of explore this. Hoping this won't be a super long video, but we will always see. Um, 
Is that a civic that I have to wait to get? Fusion spas, pleasure seekers, uh, sovereign guardianship. The collection of warring tribes has developed a historical preference for entrenched territories and defensive posturing. Now united, prepared to bring this philosophy to the stars, aiming to keep their borders solid and tensions low. Unlock the fanatic guardians as defense armies. Uh, there's a reloading bay building for star bases. Enables inner focus edict converting influence into unity. It's not bad. Um, it increases the size of our empire uh, from planets, branch offices by 100% and systems by 150%. But our empire size from populations and districts is reduced by 50%. Diplomatic weight is increased by 20%. And unity from soldiers is plus one. That's not terrible. Council position. I fucking lost that. Council position. We're looking at empire effects per skill level. Plus 10% for army. The defense army damage. God damn it. I keep on losing that. Um, plus 5% star, star base hull points. Plus 5% star base armor. And across the board for ship as well. Friendly fire systems. Uh, ship fire rate for friendly fire systems and shield hit points in friendly fire systems. Nice. Um, and then where is the... Mention more shippers. The society believes that a divine existence lies beyond the folds of space and time. Systems where instabilities are highest hold a sacred meaning to them as it's sites of both pilgrimage and research. Allowed to build a dimensional shrine, star-based building and systems containing a wormhole, an astral scar, an astral rift, an elgate, or a shroud tunnel. Interesting. Each dimensional shrine provides plus 10 unity that's actually pretty good monthly astral threads is plus 25 percent increased uh chance for astral rifts to appear in the systems you control increased by 100 percent rare technologies now appear at 1.1 times the normal rate this effect could change at one percent chance into a 1.1 percent chance interesting and that's that has something to do with being religious uh, religious uh yes I might, I'm gonna grab that actually. No, oh, Edith's left too. Um, we're gonna grab this one. Advisor voice always go with the Necroid. Then, Church of Other Worlds. The flag doesn't really matter to me. Ruler appearance. Female. Armor's dope. Rule of traits. Ooh, I get to choose these. Official. Commander. Scientist. Official. I think official will be better. Actually, no. Yeah, I think official will be better. Um. We're going to be... Yeah, we're going to grab that one. Next. We're all good to go. All right. We're going to get done. Um, galaxy size, we're just gonna go for a basic one. We're not really worried about a whole lot of shit. Again, we're just trying to get the astral rift thing to activate. All right. Again. Seismic anomaly detected. The recent seismic activity has revealed. Oh, that looks dope as fuck. That looks awesome, actually. Uh, science creators link to legends involving the very genesis of our species. Okay, we are still paused. Astral rifts. We lack technology necessary to explode this anomaly. Very interesting, very interesting. We are at the very ass end of the galaxy. Um, it gives us two astral threads. We also get access to dark matter almost automatically. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna grab one of these. That's a mining station. Where the fuck is it? Research station. We're just gonna send out a scientist. Ooh, there's new ones. They get experimental subspace navigation almost immediately. What the fuck? Your system. And we're gonna go to. Oh, wait, uh, new. Archaeological site discovered already. Nice. Assign a scientist to begin excavating. That's wild. Okay. Um, what the fuck? Okay, so these are the actual actions. Uh, the cost is 250 for each actual rift, but we gain a physics insight modifier for 10 years, which gives us a plus 10% physics research. Interesting, interesting. I don't know why it's fucking telling me to do that, because I have no way to unlock any of these. Nope. 
basic fucking essential perks. It looks weird. It looks weird. Uh, we're going to grab energy management just to get it out of the way. Awful trading and then nano mechanics. Come up. Fascinating. Okay. Idle leaders. I'm going to grab. Nice. You don't have enough right now to actually do anything. We're already doing our fucking thing. Okay, so are there any new traditions? I thought they mentioned there was. They crafted that bit. Oh, it's holy fuck. It's so loud, holy shit. Sorry, guys. Um, we're gonna grab Discovery, I think. The council agenda available. The agenda shard of the unknown has been unlocked. Wow. The first ascendant, Minister of Defense, Minister of State, Minister of Research. Uh, fuck. Government. Uh, so higher purpose, chart the unknown, play power. We are going to grab chart the unknown. All right. Remnants, nice. Uh, this runs is fine. Sorry, I'm just trying to get through these pretty quickly. Wow, already. What is our fucking influence? It's at 43. It's almost at 50. Jesus Christ. Mass extinction. The situation log has been amended. A system survey has concluded. The situation log has been amended. Construction completed. Okay, then we'll send that one out. We're gonna build a army build. Ooh, army builders, defenses. This is a whole bunch of new shit. It seems. Nice. I'm grabbing science ship. This might, might not be new shit. I'm just I might just be dumb as fuck. Nice. Okay. Um research. Construction venture completed. Build a science ship. We're gonna grab eight thirty seven. Yes. And then you are gonna excavate the site. I'm trying to get stuff to activate as quickly as possible. A um, system survey has concluded. Oh, it's holy shit. Um Mr. Defense, Unifier. Holy shit. Construction venture completed. A high speed impact. Initial excavation on the base of the crater revealed a fully formed cylinder of impact. An anomaly has been discovered. Research. Impact height lodged deep into the earth. The vein must have been originated. From the meteoric impact of extremely high velocity, initial calculations demonstrate the object must have arrived at nearly the speed of light. Wait, no, 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 more. God damn it. The situation log has been amended. Excavation speed. A study has been completed. Wow, dude, there's, it's going by so fast. As long as without mods, it's kind of nice. It's wild. Underground caverns at the termination point of the impact. Jesus Christ. Pause at the 
The termination point of the impact vein, impactite vein. We discovered an expansive cave system, pools of underground water support the thin lines of pale vegetation along the cavern walls. The bottom of one of these pools, the remnants of an anomalous spherical object, is not a natural formation, it appears to be a source of intact site. Cover the object. I'm assuming that is the Rift Sphere. Jab, buddy. Research project and system. Going through it fast. Holy fuck, dude. It's so nice. Oh, yeah, what do we got? Uh, unifier. Always grab Unifier. It increases our fucking thing. A special project is complete. Nice. Hill surveys. Okay, okay, hold on. Astral actions are available. Dude, wow. Okay, cool, dope. How are you going, buddy? How's it going? Construction completed. Almost done. Nice. And then last one. Be cool if we got some more traditions, but I don't think we will for this. Just because, oh, as far as I was looking at the at the update, we don't get any new thing. Uh, we're gonna grab. One vision. One vision is job. Here's our fucking overall agent sphere. We have covered the sphere from the underground lake, which, while covered in the vegetative growth, much of it remains fully intact. Its construction is mixed of highly sophisticated design and crude assembly. Perfectly smooth metallic plates cover the frontal portion of the ship, which must have reduced friction significantly upon atmospheric entry. The trajectory of this resting site aligns with the vein of impactite. Confirming the sphere is the source of the media of the, of the metamorphic rock led us here. Even more incredibly, there are signs that this vessel had passengers. Fascinating. Okay, cool. Keep on going, my man. You're so fucking close. Uh the ISS Asperides crew is reporting that they found something spectacular on Zocal 3 on the surface like traces of the civilization. Do, 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 do. Send it to our homeworld. The situation log has been amended. Mutilation log. A system survey has completed. We are going to grab Hydroponics Bay. We are going to level up our Mr. Satan Crease. Get us some new toys. Build a mining station. Ancient Fleet and Ancient Fleet are going to Funky Timed. Update. Um, play. Let's grab a alloy foundry and let's grab a. I don't. Again, I'm just trying to get through to do the temple as well. We're just trying to get through to do the astral planes thing. I don't really care about anything else at this point. Push your archaeology speed, bitch. Then you. That's our first ascendant. We're gonna grab. Fertility preacher. Have the sex, yars. Yeah, we're gonna have fertility preacher. Okay, dope. Extra speed increase. A study has been completed. Jesus Christ, Minister of Defense, grab uh, the organ. Pause everything. On the agenda. Opening. Nope. Wrong thing. Government. Go to a higher purpose. What? Okay, what was the one that I just launched? Shard of the Unknown, survey speed increase, survey speed. Plus 100%, nice. So that should be almost immediate. Um, we are going to grab 0G for... F that's... Never mind, we're going to grab mineral purification, because I'm dumb. We've recovered a cache of documents from within the ancient sphere. Each is written in an archaic version of our own language. Several of the mentions names associated with most ancient legend, an intricate network of ladders snake upward from the impact site to massive tunnel system. Based on the varying age of the rope fiber, the cavern must have been occupied for several generations as the crash survivors worked their way towards the surface. However, nothing we discovered thus far could have prepared us for the final revelation. One of the upper chambers contained a burial site. DNA analysis conducted on the remains within, within revealed a shocking truth. These people are our ancestors. Where exactly they came from or why this place was forgotten. 
is yet unknown. The salvage documents are poorly preserved state. We have recovered a data log from the sphere, which clearly shows the vessel arrived in our star system by the means of the astral rift in Obaria. Okay, cool. What does that do? What does that help me with? Activate that here. Build thing here. How fast is that? Oh, Jesus Christ, that's fast as fuck. Like almost immediate. What the fuck? Okay. Um. Construction venture completed. Over for a bit more. Wow. Oh, again. Counter and Cobb. We've countered heat aliens. Oh my god. Um. Jesus Christ. We are gonna grab site. I can't grab psionics. Can we grab? Expansion. Close to your expansion, I think. What the uh Riku Hayashi the to her method of speech has attracted the size of the following. Her retake sends across all the socioeconomic strata. But she's proven particularly popular among the youth. We have no reason to support this. Well, we have no reason not to support this. An unusual phenomenon has Research. Council agenda available. Uh, send the notes back to Kobaria. Investigate it. I don't know why. I'm just trying to bust through the rift shit. What would be the research stuff? I like my curiosity. Read yourselves. Build mining ship. Um Construction completed. Lord Crystal has been found Jesus Christ, the Vanning Gateway. Intriguing. Lord Crystal has been found inside what we know to have been the colony central administrative center in some ways we cannot fully describe. The crystal seems to have wanted to be found and is trying to communicate with us, perhaps with further study of the communication is possible. Probe the crystal. A study Astral actions. Uh, base is 300. Gain a physical inside monitor for five years plus 10. Research. Always research at this point. Until I can. There we go. Rift Sphere. Fuck yeah. So, our astral rift exploration. The Rift Sphere. The situation log has been amended. <laughs> A system survey has concluded. We got this. So, pause. Holy shit. Uh, sorry about the influence cost, minus 10%. My foot just popped and it hurts like a motherfucker. Scientist, uh, head of research, we're gonna grab. Analysis. That's their veteran trait. A uh, great deal of trial and error and breakthrough has been made. The crystal has some kind of psionic archive, but its records, but its records are fragmented. What we know is the colony of the of the Zeroni, a psionically gifted race, which discovered the dimension, which is known as the Shroud. Once it reached critical mass, okay, basically that. Okay, psionic theory gained as research option. Nice. Go. Hit the play, bitch. System, it's almost done there. Put an envoy on it. Except. Nice. Don't what that did. System. Survey the system. Research the anomaly. I'm just speeding through this as quickly as possible. It's horrible that sounds. I'm just trying to see what we can do. 119 months available. I refilled. Um, strong gravity well of Veldarim 3 is pulling a massive amount of space debris. Parts of the ash giants here. Nice. Carrier operation. Psionic theory. Make it so. Uh, you, sir, are going to grab a 
floor. Um, who's you? Who's you? Build surveys. Build more ship. There's a lot. What is our current? We got a hundred months left. Um, I don't know. It's also a very small fucking map. I'm not used to this, honestly. I'm used to the much larger, uh, like 3000 star map. Oh, there. Are. There, are the Tianki. Nice. They don't attack me, I won't attack them. I'll be good. I'll be Gucci. Research. Excuse you guys, I'm sorry. Nano sand. Unanticipated fine on the surface of quad V3. Not only the plentiful sand dunes, do, 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 do. these microscopic machines are millions of years old. They're structure degraded far beyond any chance of reactivation. Interesting, it might have been a terraforming tool, I think. Um as a heads up, I do have a new Stellaris series coming out in the Council Agenda ready. God. In the close to near future. Um and uh yeah. I'm I'm hoping it's good. I hope people like it. But we shall uh, see how you guys feel about it. Evolving society. The result of Carmen Alvarez's astounding scientific discovery, the rate at which we can conduct research has accelerated. Nice. 37 months, fuck yeah. We're so close. I'm very excited to see what the astral rifts are. Since we started out with one automatically in the system. Um, you are the Minister of State. You are going to get... Industrialists. Good job, buddy. I'm build one of these. Go to features. Remove both of these. Go to here. Build one more of the alloy factories. One more of the generators. And two more of those. All right. It gets through these so fucking quickly. Jesus Christ. Back here. Little mining station here, service system. All right, go. Oh, it's just ripping through. The I'm so happy with that research. Construction. Counter and Cobb. Do we already counter them? We did. Uh, we are going to grab coil guns. I thought we had the... Proceed. You're just going to speed run the shit out of this. Uh, first Senate, you're going to grab advisor. Wait. A planetary impediment has been replaced. A system survey has concluded. See if they want to talk. I curator Mela X Bridge. I like the insect look. Nice. A system survey has concluded. Construction completed. So much shit. In physics in sight, nice. Empire size from that stuff, nice. We're at 53. Baby, fuck yeah. Strange happening. Research. Build mining station. Build mining stations. Do mining station shit. Alien mural. Uh. Research. 
Sphere technology developed. We have developed technology that will allow us to slip between the folds of an astral rift. Constructed of highly advanced, perfectly smooth nanomaterial, the sphere is able to frictionlessly glide through the turbulent areas of space and time. We are, as we are unsure where we will arrive, each rift sphere is connected to an anchor cable that pulls back in case of emergency. Nice. It requires a science, baby. Construction venture completed. Uh, you're gonna grab specialized combat rolls. You. I'm excited. To victory. You are actually perfect to go. Go here. Explore the Astral Rift. Come on, baby. Uh, you were to grab physics focus. Which one? You're going to grab physics focus. Completed. Engineering. Fuck it. And then you, good sir, are going to grab... No. Ooh, it's so quickly. Counter and Cobb. We keep on encountering bitches and Cobb. It's really annoying. It just disappeared. appeared. A system survey has concluded. Fuck yes, it looks. Dude, this looks so good. It's like the dude. This just looks pretty. It just adds more, not volume, but like more like overall stuff to the world, the world of Solaris. As a ruined planet in Cobb. Our voyage in the rift near Kobari has delivered us into the orbit of a planet in ruins. Upon entering the atmosphere, we discovered a landscape pockmarked with burning craters. Here and there, warships lay half buried in the sand. This world is a battlefield. Intercepted radio transmissions are frenzied and unnerving incredibly. The language of the inhabitants match precisely the documents we recovered from, ancient, from the ancient sphere beneath Kobaria. Rough translations indicate these people are on the losing side of an enduring conflict. Their foes, referred to simply as the invaders, are preparing for another wave of attacks. Given the, given the devastation on the planet, it may well be the last. Search for remaining survivors. A study has been completed. Well, then, um, ceremon ceramo metal armor having a stroke. What the fuck? Um, okay. There are several large population centers on the surface of the planet. Based on their transmissions, we have identified two distinct ideological factions. The Starlight Vanguard are grim militarists, carrying for the coming outlook with unified determination, the Black Curtain are a priestly order promising spiritual sanctuary from the looming threat. At this point, we are certain that the similarities in our language cannot be mere coincidences. These are our living factions and both are in danger. These are living ancestors and both factions are in danger. That was hard to say. We're going to visit the Starlight Vanguard. You are going to upgrade. Our vessels have been reinvigorated. Nice. I'll see how quickly we can get through this. Council agenda ready. Fuck yeah. Pope oh, Edict. Well, no. Uh, lost Ancestors. Fuck, do this really quick. Uh, play power. We, we open a dialogue with a militarist faction that called themselves the Starlight Vanguard. Our language appearance in the presence of a rift sphere quickly convinced them of our common heritage desperation to communicate they revealed much about our history long ago our species was our species was confronted by an extra dimensional threat the invaders arrived to wage a brutal extermination campaign at first our people stood firm but over time the defenses crumbled on the eve of defeat an astral rift appeared operation lifeboat was launched in a bid to escape through the rift and preserve what remained of their civilization the rift sphere was constructed but its, rudiment, its rudimentary design only allowed for a one-way journey this was a very object we found buried inside the ancient crater of Kobaria. Nice, okay. I like this so far. Interesting story beats. I, I like this a lot. I think you can go through multiple different kinds. It's not just like you're not just stuck to one. It's dope. Come on, get me through. Get me through. Get me through.
We held counsel with the Starlight Vanguard. They have made plain how grim things are in their war. Uh, they stand in their war against the invaders. Exponential fleets have been defect detected several systems away and are already closing in. We have arrived at a critical moment to the Vanguard. There, this is no good coincidence. Our presence is an act of fate. The arrival has inspired our people. Give us the critical aid we need. And we have yet have yet have a chance to end this war once and for all. The remaining fleets are in poor condition and cannot withstand another loss. We should be able to send a limited amount of supplies through the anchor cable before the rift becomes too unstable. A shipment of dire needed alloys will help with fleet repairs and enhancements given the advanced construction of their ships. We may learn something of the design along the way. A wiser use of our time may be to apply our more advanced knowledge to the astral thread to enhancing their ship's shields while experimenting in nature. Experimental in nature, we may make some breakthrough here that could benefit our own fleets. Understanding the invaders favor energy weapons, so any improvement here will go a long way. Let's do Astral Thread. Hoping my uh, my reading is good. I apologize for my stutter. The invasion of, of our ancestors' home planet is imminent. Following our meeting within the Starlight Vanguard, we have inv been invited to a world council uh, for an, to a world council for an emergency meeting. They took special note of the aid we have given so far and praised us for our generosity. There is little time for action before what many view as the final conflict. Stockpiles of energy is dangerously low, contributing a donation would boost production of emergency support ships and push the battle in their favor. Many of their scientists are also requesting more samples of Astral Thread to be collected for further experimentation, enhancing the shielding of their fleets. Is this better to offer energy or should we offer... We're going to offer... Gonna offer energy. They can build more ships. 468 minor artifacts, Jesus Christ. There's a lot going on. A study has been completed. Oh. Basic combat rolls. Automated. The carnage was absolute. Our ancestral fleet stood no chance against the invaders. Their weapons are terrible and their mercy is none. A few bastions of safety now remain. The people are panicking, begging to flee with us back through the rift. One prominent noble has asked us privately to ensure her survival and offers a large amount of energy credits in return. Caretakers of the Empire's most comprehensive library of knowledge plead for us to instead take back their vast collection of books and data and data disks for preservation. Uh we must make a choice for the invaders to come to this place in due time. Take as many back as we can. The spirit of our ancestors, the discovery of our ancestors has invigorated our society. We are progeny of an ancient civilization from which we have gleaned valuable information and technological expertise. Our journey through the rift was a monumentous one and will not soon be forgotten. We should be thankful for the opportunity afforded by our progenitors. Our very civilization is a testament to their will to survive. Our success will be a tribute to them. Nice. All right. Well, that's a dope ass fucking modifier. Astral Rift has fully been explored. Nice. Okay. A study has been completed. Oh, what the fuck? Astral Boost, Hyper Jump Charge Time, minus 50%, Sublight Speed, Astral Siphon. Unlocks Astral Siphon Planetary Building. Astral Siphon increases the Astral Thread Storage Capacity and provides Astral Researcher jobs. Nice. And Astral Splitting. Create an Astral Rift at a random system you control. Must control a system without any adjacent Astral Rifts. Very nice. We shall not use any of them. Alright, um... I think that was an interesting beginning to this fucking DLC. I'm not gonna worry about any of the relics and shit. We'll see that in due time with my, uh... with my new Talaris series that I'll be dropping in about a week or so. Um, and we'll see where it goes from there. I thought it was like really cool. I, I enjoy the fact that you have multiple story beats throughout the uh, the game. It's not just like 
the, the story that you make, you have interwoven dialogue and 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 story plots throughout the whole campaign, which I think is dope. Um, that being said, we're going to uh, log off for now. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. Um, as a heads up, I will be going on hiatus for a week and a half while I get some stuff together. I have some big stuff planned and I'm trying to get as much of it done as possible before I start uploading. Um, so with that being said, I will see you in a week and a half, probably a full, a full two weeks, but I'm going to try to post the week after next on, on Friday, at least give you guys a heads up of what's going on. Um, with that being said, uh, yeah, I hope to see you all in the next video in a week and a half and I hope that you guys' weeks go good. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, with that being said, this is, uh, your captain Ocular Galaxy signing off. Have a good night, you guys. And now you hit my heart with the speed.